So this afternoon I'll be talking about uh, low-grade serous carcinoma of the ovary. Uh, this is a relatively uncommon type of ovarian cancer, uh, but certainly there's you know thousands of cases around the world. Uh, it's very different than the most common type of ovarian cancer, which is called high-grade serous ovarian cancer. Low-grade serous ovarian cancer is characterized by mutations in uh, genes like KRAS and BRAF, whereas high-grade serous carcinoma has uh, frequent, if not universal, mutations in TP53, which is not seen in low-grade serous carcinoma, so the molecular genetics are very different, and we can use that in making sure we're making the uh, correct diagnosis in cases where it can be tricky. It also could be used for a therapeutic uh, intervention in the future. Yeah, so there's some evidence that uh, BRAF mutations that can be targeted uh, with BRAF inhibitors, such as in melanoma and other cancers. Uh, there are some reports, although uh, not overly common, but there are some reports of that working in low-grade serous carcinoma. Um, I'll also be talking about other uh, therapies that have been effective, including anti-angiogenesis therapy with bevacizumab. Um, and now there's also some good data to su suggest that a hormonal treatment can actually prevent the cancer from recurring. The two take-home messages would be that we can use genetics both to correctly diagnose the cancer and also to uh, open up therapeutic options. And we have a lot of new therapeutic options for low-grade serous carcinoma that did not exist 10 years ago.